While a giraffe living along the border has sparked some controversy, activists are working to move him to a place that they feel is more suitable. Our Luis Garcia and JJ Maldonado have that story. Esa mirada es una mirada de tristeza, de soledad. Viendo la mirada y la cara de, de, de este ejemplar, pues sinceramente estamos viendo un signo de interrogación por encima de su cabeza. ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Por qué estoy aquí? This is Benito, a three-year-old giraffe who was brought a couple of months ago to the central park of Ciudad Juárez. But for some members of the border community like Ana Félix, the conditions where Benito lives are unacceptable. Realmente es una condición triste, es una condición donde si tú puedes ver, es desolador. Él no puede ir a ningún otro lado, nada más que caminar en semicírculo. One of the most serious problems for Ana is the lack of care for Benito's diet. Y podemos ver que no hay un vigilante, no hay un guardia, no hay nadie que controle aquí el acceso de la gente a, al parque, bueno, a esta escalinata, y cualquier persona puede venir a darle lo que quieras. That's why Ana has spent the last few weeks collecting signatures to get Benito a better place to live. Esto no es un zoológico, entonces este animal pues no debe de estar aquí. Ese es el pronunciamiento que nosotros tenemos ante el gobierno del estado, este parque que pertenece al gobierno del estado. After an intense search, Ana finally found the perfect place for Benito. The Blue Hills Ranch, located in McGregor, Texas, just under 100 miles from Austin, is a sanctuary that rescues animals and has a large piece of land where some giraffes already live. We try and get them out and they're eating from all the trees, the leaves, the vines, the bushes. They have free will to do whatever it is they want. Anna contact Matt to let him know about Benito's situation and ask for his help. Uh, I think it's definitely opened, uh, opened the eyes of everyone um, to know like, gosh, he just has a big dirt field is all, you know, a big dirt lot is all he has. And um, I don't wanna say that's not right, but man, that's not right. At this ranch, Matt claims to have everything necessary for Benito to live happily. And so this houses are two giraffes. Um, and the next barn we're gonna have, we'll be able to hold six giraffes. This is the, what the giraffes eat. Um, so they make a special pellet for that. And all took Matt mentioned that they will take care of the logistics and expenses of moving Benito to Texas. The last word is with the government of Chihuahua. Whoever owns Benito, which I really don't know if it's the city, the, the, the state, the country, uh, who owns Benito obviously has to say, okay, we'll let him go. So that's the first step. No one is going to start working until that word happens. This is a case of interceding for those who have no voice. And Ana says that she will continue to be the voice of Benito. Hola, Benito. Pues aquí estamos luchando por tus derechos, Benito. Te prometo, Benito, que vamos a incansablemente a estar día a día aquí contigo. Si Dios me presta vida, aquí vamos a estar luchando por la vida, los derechos y por el bienestar de este animal. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel and for more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button right over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app to get live news coverage, weather alerts and more wherever you are. And don't forget to tune in to Channel 55 on DISH and DirecTV for live local reporting every single day. We'll see you then.